So, look at these two pictures over here, Ulyssa, and we're going to play a little game. Read that for me. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Stop. It says his head and his hairs was white like wool against this one right here. That same one you can see right here on this, on this building right here. You see that? Strike one. Because he said it has woolly hair. Who has woolly hair, Ulyssa? Who has you woolly hair? We do. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Your probably your father had the same texture hair that I had. Or this brother had, or these brothers had. The same texture. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Look at the pictures again. Which one has white hair? And which one does it? This is not easy. This is not hard. This is not hard to be understood. He had he said his hair was white. The head on his head and the head on his beard was white like snow. So, hey, y'all come over here, because we're giving the description of Christ. Teach the Lord. We're, we're giving the description of type, Christ. Read that. Continue to read that. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes, because Christ drank wine, and he drank wine in moderation. Right. And, uh, and the whites of his eyes turned red. He drank wine, but he wasn't a drunk. Read. And his feet. And his feet. You listen. If I looked at your feet, would it be the same color as your arms or your face? Pretty close though, right? Pretty close, right? So it's going to say his feet. He's describing the color of his feet. Read. Like unto fine brass. You listen, what kind of, what color is brass? Because we're speaking to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and every Americans who the true image of Christ really looked like. So what was, what's the color of rice? brass? The color of brass. What's the color of brass? Brown? Brown. All right, all, all phrases. Yes, but we, it, it is brown. But we're gonna see how brown this this is. Read. And it's feet like unto fine brass. Uh huh. As if they burned. As if they what? Burned. As they what? Burned. You listen. Great. Right, hold on. Read. Read. In a furnace. Burn in a furnace. You listen. If you burn anything in a, it burn anything. What color do it turn? Black. Right. It turns black. You burn rice. What color it turn? Turn. Burn paper, what does it turn? Color turn. Black. So black was Christ was a dark skinned black man. Right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at my man Poncho. He got fringes. Just like we do right here. My man got prime. Look at this. They got fringes on this on, on these uh on the signs right here. Right. He no, that's part of your nationality. That's right. This is part of our nationality. You see the fringes on this? This is part of our nationality. Get that law for it. This is that's, that's uh, Numbers 15 and 28. Okay. Right here. This is part of our, our heritage. Read that for me. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Uh-huh. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. Read. And bid them. And bid them. That bid means to command them. To command the children of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. That they make them fringes. Make them what? Fringes. Just like, just like our grandpa over here. He had fringes on his, on his poncho. Right? Just like you see on all these brothers over here. Right here. Us two. Fringes. Read. In the borders of their garments. Of our garments. Throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. It says throughout their generations. Listen to me, so-called... Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, this is our history. Our history is your history. Your history is our history. We went into slavery. So it says, put it, put, put it, uh, fringes upon your borders. Now, listen, sis, we're going to get to you for in a few minutes. You're supposed to have a skirt on, just like you see in that picture right there. Our, our women always wore dresses. Right. Being in pants is a new thing, but we're going to hit that, though. Read. In the borders of their garments. In the borders of our garments, men with their shirts, women with their dresses, right? Read. Throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. So as long as I'm having kids, this this soldier's having kids, as a, as a people we're keep having kids, this is a law that we're supposed to keep. Right. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. If you look right there, that's a ribbon of blue right here. It's a ribbon of blue on here. Right. And if you look at this size, there's a ribbon of blue right here. We always kept this. 
This is way before us. These pictures is way before us. Right. You see that? This was a commandment we're supposed to keep throughout our generations. Read. Why Why have we have to put this on, right? Read. Of the borders, a ribbon of blue. Uh-huh. And it shall be unto you. Uh-huh. For a friend. For a friend. Read. That ye may look upon it. Uh, you gonna look upon it, you listen. And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And remember all the commandments. Some of the commandments. All the commandments. The one, just the Ten Commandments. All the commandments. The commandments you want to... You want to celebrate all the commandments, all the commandments of the you, Lord, of the Lord. You listen. This is supposed to be for us. This is this is a commandment throughout our generation. Right. This should tell us not to. This should tell us, hey, I can't look at that at that sister and lust after that sister. This is to, this is to help our community. This is to help our community not be drug dealers, hating our people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's well, you right. Listen, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get another law. Just give it a quick law for you, real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse five. Uh huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Stop. It says a woman. You listen. Is not supposed to wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Where are all these men wearing? Can you see? Where are they? Where are they ran? What are they wearing? Pants? What'd you say? These garments, yeah, but underneath this, where we're wearing? Pants and fringes, right? But it says, read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh-huh, it said unto a man. So I'm going to give you an example for you, listen. If I go to that McDonald's bathroom right there, right here, and I go up there and I don't know how to read. Say I don't know how to read English. How do I know which one is the man's and which one is the woman's? The woman has a dress on, right? And the other one has pants. So it says, read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Which, which is pants. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And a man is not supposed to put on a dress. Because what comes with what comes with these clothes is spirits. Right. So if you put a, a dress on a man and he and his whole spirit changes, he starts to walk different, talk different, use his hands and all of that, right? Same thing when it comes to putting on them pants. Two, it puts a different spirits on our women. Right? Read that, read that up. For all that do so. For all that do so, read. Are abomination. It's an abomination. God don't like that thing. It's like you throwing up in your mouth and swallowing it again. Or you coming up and just, it's just nasty. He don't like it. He disagree with that cold heartedly. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. So it's showing you that we have a dress code. He cares about you, you listen. He cares about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. He cares about what our women wear. He cares about how we dress, how we supposed to be dressed, because we have, we are above all nations according to the scripture. We are above all. We're the smartest. We're the most athletic. We are the best at everything. We invented stuff while we was in slavery. Right. This is what we did. Listen, listen. Y'all got a few minutes. I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to listen. This is our history. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Give me Deuteronomy 7 uh, and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are a holy people. According to the scriptures, read. Unto the Lord thy God. To the Lord thy God. The, read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Has chosen you, Ulyssa. Has chosen the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That you, that have chosen you to be a special people. You are above all these people that's on this face of this earth. That's right. Read. To be a special people. A special people, read. Unto himself. Unto himself. That's like a little child going out, got a favorite toy. This is mine. Mine. He said, God said to so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are mine. That's right. Read. Above all people. Below all people. Above all people. Equal to everyone. Above all people. It says you are above all people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans.
Americans. That's right. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.